this country for that matter. Uh, but I feel pretty strong, strongly, that we're probably going to move into this sequestr sequestration issue. And when we do that, then of course, as you all know, the majority of the cuts comes out of the military. That's where the first big bunch of cuts come. Um, you can talk to one person and they might tell you that Moody is being looked at. You might talk to somebody else and they might tell you, oh, Moody's in good shape. The concern is, is that um, I don't know that we can we can take a chance on just, you know, throwing some feathers in the air and see which way they blow. I think we're going to have to take a stand. I think we're going to need to be proactive about our military base, uh, Moody, Moody Air Force Base, has roughly a $450 million a year impact on this community. It is huge, has been discussed. So I think that we're going to have to look at some efforts uh, about uh, getting some directions and getting a good plan. When do we have to do that? I don't know what the timeline is, but I think it's something that, from a community standpoint, and I'm not saying this is a responsibility of, of the Lowndes County Commission, but they would be a part of it, no different than the municipalities did, would be. And really, you get right down to it, all the way down to to uh, our neighboring counties and communities as well, because they have a lot of stake in the issue. So I think that's extremely important. Uh, the other. I still feel strong enough about the issue that this community needs squash. I think, again, and I'm speaking on behalf of just myself, the chairman here, um, I feel like that, uh, that for us to continue to advance this county and keep this county in the best type of condition that we can keep it in to serve the citizen, citizens of this county, without getting into major tax increases when we have to do something and then to get into a situation to do things when we have to do them. I don't want to have to wait till a bridge is out that we then have to get the repairs done. We need to start working in a proactive manner to try to do that. Now, we, we can't do that, or well, I say we can't. The easiest way to do that, of course, is to move forward and, and support with a, a, a splash referendum. But let me, let me also add this. As we stated, we are, we are working as diligently as we can right now in the city to try to come to some sort of resolution to a plan that we can all live with. I can tell you, I'm committed, Mr. Pritchard is committed, uh, to get to a point to where we can be successful because again, one of the most important things that we've got is that we need a good plan. We need one that's going to be good for everybody. <coughs> the city of Alabaster right now has an issue, at least they painted the picture that they have an issue with uh, the wastewater treatment plant. They seem to be 
in dire need of a wastewater treatment plant. And, and, and as I've said before, I know that we've gotten this separation, but at the same time, we still need, as a community, the folks inside of Lam uh, inside the cities are just as much a citizen of Lowndes County as the folks in the unincorporated areas. So we have to be a little bit concerned about their, their issues and try to take care of it. Can we put the people in the unincorporated area in, an, in a, a disadvantaged situation or an unfair situation than we do the same citizens inside the cities? cities? No, that we, we should be very, very conscious of that and do everything that we can to try to keep that balance as fair as we can. But with that, uh, if, if y'all want it to continue, um, then, then we will continue with our talks. And I hate to call them negotiations, but they're really trying, they're, they're more or less, I like to look at them as talks to try to get the common ground so that we can move forward with it. here, we were already had the beginnings of generating a list. What we've now got to determine is, is that as we move through this process, is what is the revenue or the projected revenue mm -hmm. going to be? I'll because say, oh, we can do a list. We don't you have can't, that's my point. You can't do that until we get beyond the point of, des of deciding, number one, is the revenue going to be there? Will we be able to have a splash? And I'm telling you, that is not determined at this point, whether we're going to have it. Um, and then the other side of the point is, is that if we do have one, then what will be the revenue sharing in that situation? And um, and then that way you can come back then and, 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 and uh, build, right. your, build your list based on the available funds. I'd love to sit down and do a list right now, but we can't yeah. until we know what kind of exactly. funds we got. Exactly. But keep those things in mind. <coughs> We've got a list, a paving list that's been generated. Of, uh, you know, there's three different lists there that you've been presented with, so those are key issues. If, if, um, if road paving and bridges is, is in, you know, is the center of your attention, you've got a good bit of information to work with. Um, everything here, everything here has a price tag on it. Um, and again, all the conference in the world and these folks over here on the, at this end of the table, um, they know and they got a number by each, just about each and every one of those and they know right now that those numbers are not obtainable. So uh, these goals are not obtainable with the numbers that they have to work with on a daily basis. So it's going to be up to the commission to make the tough decisions that we have to make, whether you're in favor of a splash or whether you're in favor of, of um, tax increases to do it. Or are you just at the point of where you just don't want to do anything and we'll just live like we're going? Those are the things that you're going to have to decide. We're going to have to come together as a, as a commission and then hopefully everything will work out. So this community will benefit. That's what we have. I have a question for you. Um, my understanding as a city bill. It's been a tremendously eye-opening experience. 